We're going to look at the example of given the weight and height of a person, try to predict whether they are happy or grumpy. So we have a training set of information, so it is supervised learning, meaning that given our inputs, we have the corresponding output for some, say, n individuals. Maybe this is 30 people. So for these 30 people, we have their inputs, their weight and the height, and we know the true label of whether they're happy or grumpy, which is the green or red. So of course, we're trying to make a model that for inputs that we don't know the output for, for people that we don't know whether they're happy or grumpy, we're trying to predict whether they are happy or grumpy, given their weight and their height. So we're go our goal is to make a model that looks something like this, where we have some line. This is just the image of how it's being done. So to, sh to demonstrate this, we would draw some line that wraps around something around our training set of information. And it says within the boundary, everything is happy and outside everything is grumpy. That's what our model is saying. So we're trying to make the best model for that, looking at the training accuracy and maybe the test accuracy. So firstly, looking at the training accuracy, let's say we have three different models here. We have a pink model on the left, a dark blue model in the middle, and a light blue model on the right. Now, the left model, the pink model, is unsophisticated, meaning it has a low training accuracy because it is unable to capture the pattern in the data. So the pattern of the data, clearly there's some sort of curvature over here. It goes something like this around there, and there's some curvature maybe in the bottom right. It can't do that. It's drawing lines, and so it's just unable to capture the true pattern. Therefore, it's not going to do well. We call that an underfit model. Okay, this is underfitting. That's the keyword. All right, you don't want that. It's on the training accuracy. Remember, right now, we're looking at accuracy in the training set, which doesn't really matter. Our goal is to do well on a test set or new information. So do not care about that too much, but this is what happens. Now, jump over to the far right. We are looking at a very curved model where it's looking around, basically trying so hard to do well on the training set that that's going to be a problem later. It looks really good for now because it's it's getting everything right or it's if you're not getting everything right this one is but something else a different overfitting model might be getting a lot of it right but that's not necessarily good we're going to find that we actually want this model in the middle and so the one on the right is called overfitting and we'll see why in just a second it's overfitting because it's we can tell because on the training set it is getting a very very high accuracy except if we move down to a test set we're going to see a couple different things if we're looking at the far right example for now so again staying on the overfit model you can see this is the true pattern of the data that it has this curvature over here and down here but over here it curved in like this because it was trying so well to get perfect or really really well on the training set except that was just noise in the data set Okay, it's going to, if it tries so hard to fit every point, it's going to fit around noise. And so it's going to start to do poorly, at least not as well as a different model could on the test set, which is what's actually relevant. It's curving in too much. We wanted the middle model, which is this, it captures the actual pattern in the data set, and it's not fitting to the noise in the data set. So this model is going to do very well on the test set. It's still probably not going to get perfect but it's capturing the proper pattern of the data rather than fitting to all the noise, which is overfit. So again, if I write it here for you, this is overfitting because it is fitting to the noise in the data set, which is going to be a problem on the test set. And over on the left, we have an underfit model. And we know that because, well, it did poorly on the training set, which is a bad sign. It doesn't necessarily matter, but it's a bad sign. And so, yes, again, it did poorly on the test set, because it's if it's unable to capture the pattern in the training set, and we're assuming that the test set looks very similar to the training set, then that's not good. It's still too unsophisticated to properly fit the data set, and so it's not good. We want this fit. We want this, well, I'll just call it good fit, which is a balance between underfitting and overfitting, meaning we're not underfitting, we're not too unsophisticated, we're not too, so sophisticated that we're fitting to the noise in the data set, 
and in the training set and so we're capturing the overall pattern it's probably not perfect but it's going to have a very high a, a pretty high training accuracy and a pretty high test accuracy on the underfitting model it's going to have sorry about that it's going to have a bad accuracy on the training set and the, and on the test set and for our overfitting model it's going to have a very very high accuracy on the test set and a very decent accuracy on the test set so i'm not going to say very low on the in the test set because it'll probably still do quite well but the problem is that if you're fitting the noise it's not going to do as well as that good fit model right here would and i'll write again this is the good fit okay so just to show this as notes thing I'll, I'll move this over here so underfitting low training accuracy good fit a very high or pretty good training accuracy and overfitting is an extremely high training accuracy but but on the test set you can see that underfitting is a very low test accuracy which is indicated from the bad training accuracy a good fit is a pretty high test accuracy and again on the overfitting it's a decent test accuracy it's still probably pretty good but you would have done better if you just stuck with or tried to find this good fit model right here thank you for watching have a good day